Hey guys, Dogden here, and welcome back to a brand new video. It's been too long. I'm here with Thog Dad. We're in Montenegro once again. We come here every summer. Theo, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we haven't made one of these videos for ages. What, do I look in that camera there? I'm just upset, Dad. I was in London on my own, chilling, and now I'm back with this mug. That's look at this thing, this nice, Muppet. Theo. You've got a Montenegro flag on you. You're still pretending like you play for the cricket team. 10,000 likes, and we're going to ship this guy back to England. What a Muppet. Let's talk about the Arsenal home kit, because they're the alphabetical first club in order. They are, Theo, and lots of red on the body there. We've got white on the shoulders and yes. little bits of gold, Theo, on the shoulders, on the cuffs, in the logo, mm. and that zap pattern. What do you think of this kit? I don't know what it is. People are talking about it like it's the best kit in the league. I think it's awful. I think they've overdone it. You know, it's like they've paid their kit designer too much money, and he's gone around and he's, you know, he's picked up these beautiful parts of London. He's got the gold strips because he thinks they've won the league. Now, on the side of this shirt, Theo, there's a white stripe, and on there is all the results from the Invincible season 20. Years ago. You know what they're thinking, Dad? They really thought they were going to win the Premier League again. Why else would you put gold on your kit? It feels a bit vain. It's a bit over the top, isn't it, Thog Dad? Well, and that is why I've ranked it 15th. Wow, Theo. It's not that <laughs> bad, Theo. You've not seen the Tottenham shirt yet, but I'm going to put this in sixth place. What I do think you mean? it's nice, Theo. It's a nice shirt, but there's nothing really wow factor about it. Dad, I'm back with you because you've been pranked. It's the best kit in the Premier League. I love it. It's, it's not. It's beautiful. It's got the lovely shade. It's creative. It's golden. It screams a Premier League title race with Declan Rice and Kai Havertz wearing that shirt. I think they can win it all. Out of the 15 kits that have been released, there's five that are missing. This is the best one. Aston Villa now, and of course it's Claret and Blue, Theo. Yes. It's Claret all over the body. You've got the blue on the shoulders. You've got some other colours in there. Yeah. And you've got this sound waves pattern. What does that mean to you, That Theo? sound waves pattern means to me it's a design that resembles the Alle, Alle, Alle. The Villa boys from Aston have travelled near and far. You can hear us singing from the stands in Villa Park. However, it's a shame because I like the Soundwaves idea, but the sponsor ruins this kit, Dad. Wow. It's a betting sponsor. It's ugly. I've never heard of this company before. Castor, Aston Villa, what are you doing? Allowing it to ruin what's such a great kit without it. What do you think about the club crest there? Because they've gone back ah. to the one. I believe this is the 1982. Like they won the Champions League, the European Cup yeah. in 1982. And they're going on a European run, and you need a statement when you're going on a European run. Great kit ruined by the sponsors. You're going in 11th out of the 15 kits public. Wow, you are a very harsh man. I'm now, sorry. you don't like the BK8 sponsor, but the 8 is in orange. I think that is all right. It's a little bit of extra colour there. But you know what this reminds me of? What there? is it? Go on. Me grandma's curtains. Look at it. Honestly, you don't like the pattern? It's me grandma's curtains. Granny Kathleen <laughs> in Oldham. She had those curtains, I swear. Ninth place. Ninth place and 11th. We somewhat agree on Aston Villa. Like if you agree, comment if you don't. Rent for now. And yes. They've gone for the vertical red and white stripes there. We've got a black v necked collar. We've what got is black going on, on the underarms. And you've got this gradient effect, so the red stripes turn into black. This is a leaked kit. Okay. What do you think of it? So Brentford haven't released their kit yet, so it could be different. This yeah. is just what footy headlines have come up with. That's an important message to keep because Brentford fans, this is your first kit in three years. Yeah. You've gone two years with the same thing. You've now waited a summer. You've waited so long for something fresh. I really hope it's not what this prediction is. They've said they've got a 90% accuracy on footy headlines. If that's correct, I'm disappointed. It's basically just a Brentford shirt with a really boring collar and the black coming up from the bottom. Be more creative, try something new, because off this, I'm ranking it one of the lowest in the Premier League. Theo, I love this club in so many ways. We know the owner, he's a brilliant owner. There's a real community spirit it's around the, it's the, the club. It's the most local club in the Premier League. 83% of their fans live within a seven mile radius of the stadium and their fans deserve better. And I agree, Theo, I would love to say something nice about this, but I just don't like it. It's just not very nice. They, yeah. they need to step up to the plate, come out with a better kit in future. 14th place. Yeah, I've gone 12th, so we agree again, surprisingly. Chelsea now, Theo, and I just don't know where to start with this one. Let me try and describe it. It's a blue shirt. You've got some navy blue touches, some I white touches. It. You've got metallic logos, Theo. Yeah. But let's be honest, this is one of the worst kits I have ever seen in my life. Dad, we sat down here and spoke about the leaked kits a few months ago, where they released this bluey, golden, simple, but classic shirt, which reminded me of one of their remembrance kits that they made a few years back. We've now seen it, a leaked shirt pick from the store. It's completely different. It's as if someone's designed it and, and, and it's on the market for $2. It looks awful. Top Bowley's done a very good Good job with the business, but someone needs to sort this kit out and get it changed. It's awful. It is impossible to design a worse kit than this 
15th place. Yeah, I've gone 13th. There's two clubs worse than that, and stay tuned and you'll find out who. Crystal Palace, now you've already what? seen this shirt. They're the last game of last season against Nottingham Forest. They've gone yeah. for the half and half effect. Blue on one side, red on the other, and there's pinstripes all over the place. You've got the rounded white crew neck collar. What do you think, Theo? The most beautiful thing about this kit is the silhouette to the Crystal Palace, which was found in 1861. They played in 1862. To have that behind the red and blue, the half and half, people are giving that stick. Yeah. I mean, some of the Premier League kits we've seen this year are atrocious, and this is one of the best ones. And I'll be surprised if you haven't put it in your top five. I'm not usually a fan of half and half shirts, Theo, or half and half scarves. That goes without saying, but I do love that nod to the history of South London, Theo. Everything about the it. The exhibition centre is beautiful. And you said it, it was used for the last game of the season, which means they've really planned this out well. I met the guys at Cinch outside the Crystal Palace Stadium as well. They're always working, connecting with the community and the club. I'm putting you fourth. Ooh. A very good kit. Looking forward to seeing how Eze and Elise and the rest of them thrive in that new kit. It's a nice kit, Theo. Seventh place. Everton now, and they've gone Ooh. for a blue shirt. Just look at this gem, Theo. You've Madness. got white on the polo collar there, yes. Theo. You've got white on the sleeve cuffs, white all over the place. It's only white and blue in this shirt. And what I love, Archibald Leach, the godfather of designing football stadiums, a nod to him in two or three different places. For a kit that's your final year at Goodison Park, it had to be a statement, it had to be special. It's the first time they've gone with a collar in a decade. And it's a great nod to Goodison Park with the definitions in the sleeves. Dad, this is a gem of a shirt. First of all, let's talk about the stake.com. That is the sponsor, but at least they've done it in yeah, white, Theo. The, 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 it does connect as the it secondary color. Theo. However, it's pretty bold. And it is stake.com, which is a gambling site as well. You know what, I had to speak to Scouse Caroline, my friend, and ask her if she likes it. She's a big Everton fan. What did and she say? She said, Go on. Tom Davis would look fit in that shirt. <laughs> she likes it. There's only one place for them, first place. Yeah, it's a feature of Everton Stadium since 1909. This is second place, two very high rankings. It doesn't surprise me, we agree. I take back all the mug comments and to all the Everton fans sending me this kit, putting in a high ranking, I've done it. Fulham Football Club of Ooh. London, Theo. They've gone for the white base, of course, and okay. the black there on the shoulders. And this is the interesting bit, Theo. You've got red on one side of the Adidas stripes and white on the other. Dad, it screams Leeds United, doesn't it? Ooh. It's that SBO top sponsor. Oh, it's yeah. what they had last year. That yeah. looks like a kit that would get relegated. Do you like the button on the collar or not? No, 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 no. And I swear Leeds did that last year and they did go down. I'm seeing too many correlations. The only thing I like about this kit is how one side is red on the stripes and the other side is white. It's something different. London's original football club oh, is on written the on the back. That's incredible. That's a little nod to the rivals. Isn't and it? I like that, Theo. That yeah. has got, that's got some balls, hasn't it, to come forward with that. Theo, I've got one problem with this shirt. What is it? Where are the shorts? The Tommy Hilfiger shorts. You're still calling it a Tommy Hilfiger kit? There was a rumour that we'd have the Tommy Hilfiger shorts. Don't really like the sponsor, but the rest of it's pretty simple, so it goes mid-table for me. It's not a terrible shirt, 11th place. Liverpool Football yes. Club now, and this is inspired by the 1974 FA Cup winning side, Theo. I know. Bill Shankly's 14th season and his last season. And this screams Liverpool. It does. It's red. You've got a white rounded collar. You've got white in other places like on the cuffs and in the logos. It's pretty simple. They haven't done too much with it. I like the badge. They kept it simple with the standard charted. The Expedia on the side, it's all white. The sleeves are thick as well around the neck. They've now got Dominic Stodbelai wearing their shirt. Ooh, Still yeah. don't know how to say his name. This kit is going to win something. It's going to be a memorable one. And it's growing on me, Dad. You know what? I'm throwing it in sixth place. And considering Ooh. I roasted it last time, that's a pretty good ranking. Well, you know what, Theo? Some people will say that this is too simple, but that is the very point. Yeah. The simplicity. This is Liverpool football And club. if Liverpool wins something, you'll remember this kit. You'll be like, yeah, it's the one with the thick white stripes. For me, this is a beautiful kit. Could easily have been first or second. I put it in third place. Manchester City now, they've played at the Etihad yes. Stadium for 20 years, and this kit is a nod to their stadium field. Mm. Of course, it's light blue, two shades of light blue. And if you look at the subtle patterns, they are inspired by the stadium. You've got an overlapping V-neck, you've got some white in there, and some color provided by the badge there. Well, Manchester City last year, they've done a few things. They had the purple lines in it. When they announced Haaland, a lot of people were a bit judgmental on the kit. Why has it got purple? What does Man City represent with him? This time, they've kept it classic. It's the sky blue with touches of white. A nice design through the front, but it's one of those kits that 
Yeah, maybe at first eye, it hasn't got much about it, but it's one that will be remembered yes. because they're going to win the Premier League again, probably, <laughs> and they're probably going to win the Champions League. There is not a fair competitor in the market right now, and that's probably a bit of a giveaway for our early predictions. It comes across well. It screams Man City. It's one of the best in the Premier League this season, and I'm going to say fifth place. Theo, it is smart. It is stylish. It is clean. Fourth place, Manchester United, and this shirt will be debuted in Norway against <laughs> Leeds United in a few what? days. That's crazy. Of Norway of all places. I know. Massive, massive red support over there. And Leeds as well. And City now. Yeah, that's I wonder true. why. But back to the shirt. It is, of course, red. That is Man United's yes. colour. You've got the Adidas stripes in black. You've got another V-neck overlapping colour, Theo. And Dad, they listen to us. The patterns on the kit is a rose, which is exactly how we said they should be redesigned last season. Everything about this kit makes it one of the best in the Premier League, doesn't they, it, right? They've taken the Trafford Road Bridge, which is an architectural symbol. It's a bridge in, yeah. in Salford. They've taken the red rose of Lancashire. Of course, Manchester's in Lancashire. Yeah. And they've merged it together, and I love that. If I was a United fan, I'd be buying this all day long. Fair I'd enough. I'd be very happy to buy it. They put so much effort into it, and the fact that H leaked this shirt going out onto Glastonbury wearing it <laughs> yeah, before yeah. it was released is brilliant. I think that's incredible marketing. To everyone, that is obviously set up with the United marketing team. Third place for the kit. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to get roasted next time I'm in Bolton, but I'm a Lancastrian. I love what they've done here. Second place. Newcastle United, the Geordies are next there. And of course, they've gone black and white. Vertical yes. stripes. A lovely V-neck collar with the black and white pinstripes there. Seller is a new sponsor there. Out of all the kits we're going to speak about today, the one that has a Champions League badge on the side for a team that hasn't had that for 20 years, this was the one I was looking at and it had to be special. The best teams in the world are going to be turning up to the Northeast and you have to have a statement kit for one to remember. And overall, I don't think it's that. I don't really like the shirt sponsor, the big yellow blab. It just doesn't fit yes, there. Yes. I don't really like the seller on the front of it. It just looks out of place. I don't even know what seller is. I think it's a Saudi Arabian company. Yeah. Fair enough, probably very good money for the club. I do like the collar, but that's not enough to give it a top ranking. That yellow patch, it's disgusting. I do not like it's that. big blob on the side. Overall, it's not a bad shirt. It could what? be better. You like this? It's not bad for you. Where is it it's ranking for bad. you? Fifth place. Fifth place? Yes. Dad, this has to be in the bottom half. Out of 15 that we're ranking that are out, it's going eighth. So it's top of the bottom. Nottingham Forest there. We're looking at a leaked shirt, and all I can say, I hope this isn't the final version. Every year, Forest fans. Why? I mean, you it's, deserve better. Yeah, it's, I know it's, it's just all a leak. Red, isn't it? It's a Theo? render based on a leak on Footy Headlines website. Credit to you guys for creating this because it actually means we have 15 clubs to even yeah, talk yeah. about. You're too busy making summer transfers. Last year you made about 30 of them. <laughs> you didn't spend enough time on the bloody kit. Start the year with a great kit and a proper sponsor. Make the Forest fans want to steam into that store, queue at that store for the shirt, because right now, that's not good enough. 13th place. I really hope the designer gets this and then does something, because it feels like they haven't done anything with it. It's like a template. And I agree, that 14th, which means it's second bottom. Tottenham Hotspur now. Let's see it, let's see it. <laughs> this is very, very white, oh, no, Theo. No, 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 There's no. some navy blue no, no, touches no, no. on the collar cuffs and in the logos. No, There's no. the AIA in red. That's the Tottenham kit. What have they changed? What's new about it? The same with Tottenham every single year. Do you know what? The best comment I've had, Theo, nice and clean like their trophy cabinet. Dad. It's just not very nice, though, is it? And I agree. They're not winning a trophy on the nicest kit in the Premier League anytime soon. That is boring. There are some little patterns in there. Okay, that's... That I, are I, I meant didn't know to that. represent the culture and the musical scene of N17. But, but to be quite honest, I think that's pretentious. Do I you know what? If people are spending 90, 100 pounds for the unique kits, you don't want the same thing as last year, and it's yeah. too similar. I think fans should turn up with their last year's kit and wear it in pride, because that is a disgrace. If they're actually asking for a lot of money, they should, it should be on sale from day one. They should release it yeah. and put it in the sales section. It is dull, it is uninspiring, Theo, and for those reasons, 12th place. You know what? It's bottom of the list for me, Dad. 15th. How have you put it 12th? How is their three kits worse? West Ham United now, and they've gone for the old claret and Ooh. blue. You've got the light blue on okay. the sleeves. You've got a little bit of a pinstripe, haven't you, on it's the It's interesting. Cuff. It's interesting. You've got kit, another yeah. V-neck overlapping collar, which is quite nice. It's right. an okay shirt, isn't it? How I describe this is if it's what's released, because it is a prediction, I love it. Yes, they've kept it a little bit simple with the purple lines. 10th out of 15 probably is where it belongs. Where have you got it? Yeah, and also there's a few bubbles in the fabric, apparently. Okay. I put it in eighth place. Do you know there. what? Maybe it will be moved up. When 
the HD photos comes out and it finally is released. And finally, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Castor yes. is the manufacturer of this shirt. Astropay is the sponsor. And they've gone for this light orange color, haven't they? Is it orange? Is it yellow? Is it gold? I'm well, not it's sure. The it's the usual it's Wolves the colors. Usual wolves and colors. we like it. We like it. And do you know what? We always roast Wolves for their kits. Yeah. We never give them enough respect. Castor is the kit sponsor. And I think they've done a good job here. Yeah. I love the black and white on the sleeves yes. and the accents. The club badge has got a, a deeper shade of orange, hasn't it? Yes, it's slightly nice. different. I mean, it's got to be top 10 at least. I've got a ninth. I put it top 10, I put it 10. But you okay. know what? I think we should do this video again in six weeks time when all 20 are ready. Yes. And I think it might be higher. And I'd like to see what they do with their away kit. I feel like a lot of these home kits, they keep it proper simple, have to go more bonkers with the away strip. Let us know in the comments your favorite kit that we've spoken about and the one that's the worst. <coughs> Chelsea. That's enough from us. I'm going for a swim in the I'm sea and a beer. See We're back in Montenegro. The content's back. See you all in a bit. Bye-bye.